It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Thursday, December 29th. I'm Michael Graff. Very cold conditions could be coming into the valley next week, but in the short term, our big concerns are chances of rain tomorrow night through New Year's Day. So let's get out and look at it this morning. Cloudy skies and another very mild start to the day. Temperature at Sky Harbor Airport here at 7, 10 a.m. Currently sitting at 53 degrees. Dew point is 44. Relative humidity, 71%. Winds are light and the barometer is steady. Temperatures across south central Arizona and around the metro area right now. We are primarily in the 40s and low 50s. Plenty of high clouds across the southwest. Some of these clouds are beginning to thicken and lower as we've had a pretty steady southerly to southwesterly wind flow for the last few days. So the cloud decks are getting lower and even a few showers showing up on radar right now. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if most of this isn't reaching the ground because the cloud deck is still up there around 15, 16,000 feet or so. Nevertheless, don't be surprised if you see maybe a few sprinkles across southern Arizona this morning. On the watch warning map, winter weather conditions continue in parts of the northeast as well as northern Montana and some of the Cascades. And a little bit of wind also, wind advisories in southern Minnesota, northern Iowa today. On the convective outlook, there's a marginal risk of severe weather for the Carolinas, especially around Wilmington toward Cape Hatteras today. Tomorrow, no organized severe weather expected, but some thunder possible here in southern Arizona. So let's talk about that and everything else as we get out to the models and dissect this forecast a bit. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at 5 o'clock Mountain Standard Time today. Our old familiar friend, the upper level low, the cutoff low off the Baja, moving north today. So it'll be off the Southern California coast. As that happens, that high cloud deck that we've been seeing through the day will slowly start to shift toward the east. I think we see some breaks in the clouds by this afternoon. So high temps will climb into the upper 60s to lower 70s. And again, don't be surprised with just a little bit of mid-level forcing present today to see maybe some Virgo or some very light showers. Not going to amount to anything, but still something to watch for today. Now by tonight, partly cloudy skies will prevail. Lows will be again very mild, mid 40s to low 50s. Tomorrow, we're partly cloudy in the morning. We'll start to see more clouds coming in by late in the day as that upper low finally starts to move on to the Southern California coast. So a chance of showers in Southern California, Southern Nevada, Western Arizona. A slight chance of showers here by tomorrow afternoon. High temps, again, mid-60s to around 70 degrees. And that chance of rain only about 10% for the day tomorrow. By tomorrow night, though, those chances of rain will increase. This is the high-res NAM tomorrow night at 11 p.m. Scattered showers here over Southern Arizona. Not going to be a big-time rain event, but off and on showers for Friday night into Saturday morning. So we'll have lows again in the 40s and low 50s. And then for New Year's Eve, I think the morning starts out a little bit showery with mostly cloudy skies. We'll see some breaks in the clouds through the day. A slight chance of showers should continue. But a follow-up system will quickly dive down the West Coast. This one is much more vigorous and much colder. Models have come into better agreement on how they handle this system. And then by Saturday night, New Year's Eve, getting close. This is 11 p.m. New Year's Eve. See, rain will be on the increase. Good difluent flow comes in here. This is a fairly dynamic system. Much colder air aloft, so that'll be efficient at wringing out the atmospheric moisture that we have, and there'll be plenty in place already. So showers will turn to more of a stratified light to moderate rain sometime around midnight, unfortunately, for New Year's Eve. So those festivities outside could start to get wet. I don't think it's going to be a big heavy rain, but a stratified light to embedded moderate shower uh, will certainly not be out of the question from about, I'd say, 11 p.m. New Year's Eve through New Year's Day in the morning hours. And then by New Year's Day afternoon, Sunday afternoon, we'll start to see rain tapering off. And uh, it'll be a pretty chilly day. High temps mid to upper 50s. Model disagreement does start to come into play next week. But for now, Monday looks like a partly sunny day. An outside shot at a shower. But I don't think it's going to be too much if we see anything at all. High temps, again, mid to upper 50s. Tuesday looks partly sunny. And again, maybe some rain and snow over northern Arizona. I think we stay dry, though. High temps, mid to upper 50s. Wednesday, pretty much the same thing. And then as we head out toward a week from today, this is Thursday, January 5th. And the models are starting to come into better agreement on the idea of a long wave trough across much of the United States. Now, the differences in the two, though, lie in just how intense this system is and how deep it gets. The GFS is starting to come a little bit closer to the European, though. 
And that means much colder air comes in here for next week. We'll have a prolonged period of below normal temperatures. There is a chance of some unsettled weather in terms of rain or snow. But for now, the forecast will remain dry with partly sunny skies. High temps for now look to be in the mid-50s for next week, for Friday, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. This is Friday the 6th. This is the end of the forecast period, Saturday, January 7th. If the European were to verify, it is much colder than the GFS. And I'll just show you. This is the meteogram uh, for next week off of the latest deterministic European run. And I will say the European has been very consistent in calling for extremely cold air to come into the southwest states next week. High temps would be down, look at those, in the mid-40s by next Friday. Now, I don't think it's going to get that cold. And you see temperatures getting well below freezing at night by late in the forecast period there, by next Friday night and Saturday. Uh, don't think that's going to happen. But you get the idea here. The European has been trending much, much colder. The GFS is trending a little bit in this direction. But I think highs will probably stay in the 50s and lows down in the 30s. Could be a freeze event by late next week or the following weekend. So we'll keep that in mind. All right, temperatures off the uh, GFS ensemble next week, and you definitely see a downtrend there for late next week. And don't be surprised if high temps aren't a little bit colder than that. Could be in the low 50s. And yes, if the European is right, we'd see the coldest temperatures we've had around here in several years for sure. Something to keep an eye on. And that's a look at the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. Our next video back here by tomorrow morning. Thanks as always so much for watching. Have a great Thursday.